JC video down there. And let's record a swing. We'll talk about some stuff. Do me a favor. What's that? Um, it's a booty view right there. Okay. Go go camera one on the left. So click on the left screen. Whoops. So left screen. This one. There you go. Go camera one. And then right screen, go camera four. Awesome. And then record one, okay? Cool, cool. Say no. Well, I got this 
history, I get the path. So tell me the direction. Is so here's just a general, where's my hula hoop? There's my hula hoop pointing 90 degrees okay. to the target line. Right. Now it's 45 degrees to the right. Yeah. Okay. okay, now it's pointing at the target line, yeah. right? But when I incline this thing, that's a Ferris wheel. When I incline this thing to 60 degrees, but my six iron travels on, give or take, and then I move my low point ahead of the golf ball, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now that thing hitting the golf ball isn't going straight, it's going up to right field. Look at that top view camera. See that top view? Look on the right side up there. Can you see the incline? See, then the more I move it forward, the more rightward dimension takes on in that top right camera, and that rightward view up there. Can you see that? Yeah. And the more I move that back, the, left, the more it gets closer to zero. Now there's no rightward. There's, even though that the hula hoop isn't changing where it's aiming, Okay, or I'm trying not to change where it's aiming. Can you see how if I move this thing forward, my low point forward, now there's more and more rightward tangent. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so that's a really critical thing to understand as a golfer. And until we had this silly machine, coaches didn't know that. I mean, they kind of figured it out a bit, but they didn't really know how to explain it. I didn't know how to explain it. No idea. So, so that's the 3.8? That's the 3.8. The club path is going the right more than the swing direction because I'm hitting the ball before I get to the bottom. Yeah. Um, let's go back to track band for a sec. The spin axis, that just means that the golf ball isn't, isn't spinning. There you go. The golf ball isn't spinning perfectly backwards. It's spinning on a bit of a tilt. A golf ball can't spin left and right or back. It can only spin, spin on one axis. And when it's spinning negative or to the left, that's a ball that's going to draw a little bit. A fade spin axis is one that's going to be to the right. Let's go back to TrackMan there. Um, dynamic loft, there's an interesting number, 23.2. So take that back to JC, coach, and run me the left screen here, put the face on, bring that sucker in there and play that. So 23.2, this club has th uh, 31 degrees of loft on it, at, at it built onto it, okay? So at impact, it's got 23.2. So go ahead and play it through, coach, and pause it at impact. So when I get to impact, which this is this frame rate, so this uh, inside won't catch. At impact, this club is, you know, in essence, eight or nine degrees stronger than, than the design loft on it. All right. So the last thing I'm doing is adding loft, trying to help Whitey in the air. Dynamic loft increases. If you look at me in my, where's my weight right there? Is my weight on my right foot or is it on my left foot? Not sure. My right foot's banking a little bit. It's coming off the ground. So on the right screen. If I'm addressing a golf ball here, you know, there's some lean on the golf ball, weights off my right foot. You know, th this is a club working down and out to the right, two impacts, so there's still rightward motion in this, to a low point, and that's the only time a club's actually traveling straight for, a, you know, an instant of time, and then it's traveling back up and in. So I'm never trying to take this golf club, make it go straight back, and straight through, what's happening in my head when I do this? If I can keep the club moving sort of straight, then I really don't have any sort of an organized center, do I? It's powerful. Yeah, this is powerful. I'll tell you what, boy oh boy. <laughs> my feet feel power right there. Well, my son could walk in front of that club and stop it with one hand. But I sure feel powerful doing this. Okay, so here's a lot of power. You know, and if I hit one here, and this kind of comes back to a lot of you guys, especially Ed, because Ed, this is the big deal for Ed. So you got to record this, Coach? Full screen? Uh, full screen, sure. So if I set up standard and take a foot off the ground and hit one, you can kind of see how what the weight change <coughs> does to where my hips go. kind of closes my hips, puts me more forward of the golf ball. If I hit this shot, let's see if Tracker got that one. Might have timed out. It's been long. So it's recording. So there you go. So my weight excessively left. Look what my club path did. It went extremely far to the right, didn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to try to hit one off my left foot. I'm going to start off my right foot only and let's see what happens. So record this bad boy court. So I'll stand in, you know, not trying to cheat anything here, just a standard address position. If I'm on my right foot, the only way I can get to it now is to be steep down and across it. You're in danger. Yeah, no, no. Careful, I'll, I'll, I'll be better from now on. <laughs> Let, let's see how powerful this is. That was chunked. 
right? But let's see what TrackMan said, if it got it at all. So it, that was so across the, the radar grid, I missed it. 118 carry, you know. 118 carry, so that's only, yeah, I'm only 16. What, what did that left hand screen mean with the, four, the five balls on it? How do we interpret that? That's the five balls you hit in the last five? Oh, that's just, the, that's just where they went. Yeah, I, I hit three of them from a normal stance, one of them left foot only, out there to almost 160. Off my right foot, I hit one 118, right? So let me get one another one off my right foot only. And I'm trying to bust this, honestly, I'm trying to hit it hard. You're, you're okay, Ed. Okay, so where'd my club path go? Out to end. Out to end, 21 degrees. Yeah. You know, so if something's going, if I had a ping pong paddle, back to JC coach, if I had a ping pong paddle and you saw my hand going this way, what would you anticipate is coming at you on the other side of that table tennis? Slice. Big slice, you know it. Right? But if I'm in my position on my left side and my swing's working down and out to a ball, then a low point, I've got a sliver of rightward potential in there, don't I? Just a sliver. I'm not trying to swing out to right field. Swinging out to right field would be something where my body's kind of disconnecting off my, off my, I don't want that, I want my arms connected to my body. And in this motion, you, on camera two, coach, go ahead and, uh, you know, leave it on four for now. On, as this, as this is making its way around, there's rightward path. This, this club traveling is traveling closer to that that part of this border on the screen, isn't it? That's going to the right. It's hitting something while it's still going to the right. Only now is that club going down the edge of the boundary of that mat right there. And then it goes around to the left. So I'm never trying to make a club go straight because that would be slow. And that would be guiding. And that's in the reality, you know, for me taking this club and trying to track, trace that thing is kind of hard. But you can see how my center and my balance is getting pulled off, right? So any quick questions here? Will we kind of summarize some of these points? I know it's a little disjointed, but any questions from today that you guys want to ask? Nothing? Of all those measurements, yes. is, is there one more important than the other? They're all interrelated. I think, you know, attack angle is a critical one. Club path is obviously critical. The name of love, I mean, which one's your doozy? Which one? Yeah. Base, I mean. Side total. Side, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Side total. Side total and distance. Side total and distance. Really? I mean, how, 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 how far does it go? How far is it going? How far is it going? How crooked does it go? Mm -hmm. And how, really? Yeah, so but there you go. The, I mean, those are the true telling facts. Right. And everything else adds up. To you it. could look, you could do all kinds yeah. of stuff like Jim Furyk does, and I'll tell you what, his side total is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty tight. I mean, he hits it far enough and puts it well enough to be millions. Yeah, and he's not the longest for a big guy. He's kind of slower, but Matt Future is not the longest for a small guy. You know, so there's lots of stuff. I mean, the, uh, you know, we made you guys do some things you weren't used to, with, you know, the beach ball on and, and basically holding your arms in this relationship, holding a beach ball, all that's really doing is making this piece of the hula hoop a little bit more reliable, isn't it? How that club can travel on that perimeter. Because if your elbows are doing a bunch of funny business, that perimeter isn't really being, isn't consistent. You guys all want consistency. That's why you came here. So you came here and hit a little farther too. You know, and if your rear end is backing up, you know, there's something that's going left as well. So a couple things that are going to create leftward path, and then we'll get out of here because now we got to go to the course, is, so there's a target line on the ground, this yellow stick. And you can go to... Go to uh, camera two on, on the left screen, coach, the rear camera, and on the right screen, camera four, which it already is on, perfect. So here's a club above a target line, give or take, right? This motion here, is that a, what, what motion is that relative to track man, left or right? 50-50 chance, left, okay? How about this motion to track man? Is that a leftward motion? How about this motion? Which way is that club head going relative to a target line? That line on the ground? Okay, so that direction's to the right, this direction's to the left. Okay, so this, this, this motion, my hip's pushing forward. Which way is my club going? You can say up, because that's obvious, right? 
but relative to this line right here on the ground, this motion is something going toward that line, isn't it? Right. Going to the right, okay? This motion is something doing what? Left. Going to the left. This is something doing what? Left. Going to the left. Yeah, so we want to avoid, you know, this kind of left wrist bending back upon itself, elbows separating. We want to avoid excessive amounts of hip thrust, which I'm guilty of in my golf swing, okay? But you can't really sustain that radius of a circle unless you have some equal parts of, my body's extended right here. See on the right screen, you can see my chest, you can't see my legs. That's hyperextended. If you were, you know, if you didn't extend, you'd see my back. And there again is that leftward motion. This is why a lot of slicers, a lot of slicers go into their address position and turn, and they never, you never can see their chest, you know, post impact at all. Okay. So you know, we've got the studio. We'll, tomorrow we'll have guys in and out of the studio to look at some of these different angles. Record this one, coach. Okay, let's go roll on the, the right screen there, the top view. Good. So, shoulders pretty square. Is my left hip doing much? Now it is, right? Did it do much in my backswing? My, my pelvis sure did this though, didn't it? Okay, but my left hip didn't move to the right. Now let's watch the downswing. There is my back, you can see my back. Now you can see my chest. So there's something that went from you know, an extension one way, back to flexion, back to an extension the other way. Now I know this stuff doesn't quite make sense to you right now, but as the day ticks along, and as the weeks ticks along, and as you start to permeate this, it, it'll start to make more sense. And then tonight when you sleep on it, you'll come armed with some questions hopefully tomorrow, right? With that said, any more questions? Let's go play golf. <laughs> Do you guys want the chairs here? Yeah, right here.